say you're traveling with a friend for a couple months and suddenly you go on to your own lives, you know, back to your own lives, I should say. It's that feeling of missing that friend. And I think it's that for me, missing these characters in a way that they've gone off now. How well do you get to know anybody in real life? How well do you get to know anybody? When you're writing a story, you know them intimately. You know them inside. You created them. And, and, and at the same time, even when you create them, they have surprises and secrets. So it's a, it's a very interesting and complex relationship. And you wake up and you go to sleep with these characters around you. So when you do finish a book, when you finish it, then you, you know, you're done. There is a sense, um, you know, part of you goes, you know, part of you may go, good, phew. That was a, I can have some peace now, you know, I'm, I can, I can move on. Um, but part of you, you know, as you walk someday, you go, I wonder, I wonder what they would have said about this. I've always wanted to bring forward a couple of the characters, at least have them, a couple of the characters from a previous book. I've wanted to bring them forward and let them have a cameo appearance in the current book. And... So I've written something to that effect, and and you know Norma Joyce Hardy will be in Garbo Laughs, and Dinah Bloom will then be in, you know, Late Nights on Air, just a, even a passing reference because I, just it it would please me, it would please me enormously to have them their the, them continue to be alive, in subsequent books. Now those cameos have never um, survived. I. I Either they, either it's a bad idea, or I just don't know how to do it. I really miss my characters when I finish, um, for a bit, and and sometimes I'm glad at the end. I'm tired. I'm I'm already thinking about the next book, and uh, if things are going well for me, what usually happens is in the middle of writing a book, I have an idea for the next book, and that often happens when I'm at a particularly difficult patch like I'm in two-thirds of the way through the book and it's all getting a little oh and uh, and I then I have an idea and I think oh I just want to drop everything and do that idea because it's so much better than what I'm working on and the thing is usually it's not better it's just that it's fresh and and I think okay no Tracy wait finish and then go on to the next so I do that and uh, but when I finish it feels like I've done the best I can for the characters, but sometimes I feel like I've not done enough. I'm not too prone to romanticizing the process. Um, or maybe I just find it annoying the way it gets romanticized, or I find it's a bit twee or, you know, I don't know. So I would say that, you know, no, it's over, it's done, you know, get on to the next thing. Also, a novel is a very long, you know, it's a long beast. You spend a lot of time with it. By the time it's done, I mean, the, the last two that I have done, I don't want to see it again. Like, I, I want it out of the house. You know, I'm like a British parent. You turn 21, get the hell out of my house, you know? You know, many characters you meet in novels are interesting to read about, but they're not people you'd want to actually spend a lot of time with. Uh, and the writer has to spend a lot of time with them. And, um, you know, they're not, they're people who can only sustain so much, <laughs> so much attention before you start to get irritated with them. And, and, and their, you know, their lives have reached, a, when you're finished with them, you, their lives have reached that, the, the post-dramatic world. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, I hate thinking about characters in that post-dramatic world. I don't, I don't want to think what will happen to them uh, beyond the story that I've created for them. They don't exist outside of the book. Um, they only exist inside that book. They only exist where I've chosen to, to write about them. So they aren't real people for me and I, I don't miss them at all. I've sometimes felt, <laughs> if, if I've had a particularly sad ending for a book or something, I've sometimes felt some kind of sadness that I committed this sadness on these characters. But um, no, I, I can't wait to, to finish when I'm, when I'm on my last draft.
when I finished a book, I've been happy to have it done and see you later. And I, I'm happy to move on and not think about it. The one that I'm working on now, strangely enough, it's the only time I've had that sense of, uh, of regret as I inched up towards the ending um, and feeling like I was going to miss working on it every day. Um, and it is the book I've had the most fun writing. So maybe that's all it is, you know. I've enjoyed this and I'm going to miss having something I enjoy to work on. I miss the safety of it. I mean, I finished away, I know it's a good book. So what I would like to be doing for the rest of my life is be in the middle of writing away on my way to finishing a good book. That would be great, but that's not how it works. When you start writing, you start creating the place and you have a place to go to. And no matter how bad a day is at your desk, you've always got a place to go to, a place to be. And when you finish the book, there is that euphoria of being free. And then it's like, you know, terrible, terrible freedom. <laughs> you know? It was hard to let go in that I didn't even realize I was letting go until I was at my editor's house with a bottle of wine. And she said, congratulations. And I said, what do you mean? Is it done? <laughs> and she said, yes, it is. So those, those last days were so thrilling and so full and I was working in sort of 12 hour stretches and I'd read the novel through once each day working in such minutia. I loved it. It was like being a surgeon um, or like building, you know, a little boat inside a bottle. Like just, and, or, or those finishing moments of the taxidermist where you're just, you know, you're, you're separating the, the, the whiskers of the left side from the whiskers on the right side. So I loved those final days. And then to think that I was suddenly going to be outside of this world was um, not excruciating. Like it wasn't anything melodramatic. It was um, disorienting. But if it works, if a book works, and you've really reached the end you wanted to reach, I think you feel a certain kind of, of relief and, and this feeling of, of gladness that it's gotten to this point. Um, so I think it's both ways. I can't remember when I actually crossed over to being able to call myself a writer. I think it may have had to do with when I started to write full time, uh, which was nine, end of 99, because I, I won some money. And so I, <laughs> I quit my job. And everyone said, what, you're gonna quit your job? Yeah, and because a lot of keeping going with writing has to